This is the second largest Ethiopian city in the world, other than the capital city of Ethiopia. Most people came here for opportunity to work, uh, but most of the people are either Coptic church members or Muslim. I grew up in a small village 80 miles far from the capital city of Ethiopia, which is Addis Ababa. I grew up in a Coptic church. I came to Christ through house church movement. 14 years ago, I came to U.S. Uh, through scholarship to study, and I moved four years ago to D.C. to plant a church. It is estimated 400,000 Ethiopians living in D.C. area. Among this population, less than 2 persons are born again Christian. The reason why we are planting a church among Ethiopians in D.C. because I born and raised up in Ethiopia, and I know the language, I know the culture, and I have a strong desire and passion to reach out my people through the love of Christ who are living in this area. We first start our first church in Alexandria and we plant our second church in Silver Spring. We are going to plant two churches next year, one in Woodbridge, the second one will be in Silver Spring. In Ethiopia, we have more than 80 ethnic groups and the largest language spoken in Ethiopia is called Amharic. Uh, but the second largest language spoken by Ethiopians called Oromifa, which represents the largest tribe in Ethiopia. So our second church in Silver Spring will be Oromifa Church, and it represents the largest language. But we have a strong passions and love to reach out all Ethiopians, regardless what language they speak. <laughs> Even though we are living in the U.S., our church service is pretty much identical with the Ethiopian evangelical church. Uh, because we have a lot of emotional expression in our worship. Uh, our service, preaching, teaching, worship held in Amari. So that makes it open church in Wikin Nation. We strongly believe that God will do amazing things among the church movement here in DC for the next five, ten years, and the church will multiply, and we strongly believe this church movement will do mission work in Ethiopia and we will have Bible school in Ethiopia and we will help churches back home to plant more churches in the country. God called us here for a specific purpose to begin a church planting movement and as Paul said in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Amen.